Yo, what up everyone? Today I got another coaching session for you guys. This time we are coaching a 3 to 4 star player. She uploaded two games, so the episode is gonna be a little bit longer. But I hope you guys enjoy the content and thank you for watching. Alright, uh, today we got like Auri. Um, she handed in like two games actually, but the first one is really short. Um, so we're just gonna like review both of them. She's playing solos, v duos, so just you guys, <laughs> just so you guys are prepared what we are looking for here or what we are looking at. Yeah, it's starting right now because servers are not working. Alright, <laughs> like servers are not working. That's why I like moved it earlier. You just came in time. Let's go. Yeah, we're just gonna start watching here. Got like a few notes. I'm gonna go through them later. Yeah, see here, somebody's killing the butcher. Butcher just died. Little meme here. Not my doing, but I appreciate it. Have a lot of this at Winfield High Valor with. Oh, yeah. And crossbow. It's pretty good. Okay, banishment happens. Picks up a throwing knife. Scroll wheel enjoyer. Honestly, it's not the worst thing. You can play with school view. I personally don't like it because it can get, be inaccurate, but doesn't really matter. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's whatever. Like little little thing here. Like it doesn't really matter already. Don't worry about it. Um, but nobody can. Um, it's just like something that will come over time. You said you're like fairly new to the game. Um, nobody can peek you from up here. That's like not a real window. Doesn't really matter. You will learn that with time. But just like that made me like smile a little bit because I see that a lot with like new players that they like. Um, I don't know. It always makes me smile when like new players look at like windows that are not really windows. But that's nothing you can do about. You will learn that with time. Like, what is actually window? I saw Summit do that as well. Like when Summit first started playing Hunt, he like aimed at all interesting kind of angles, and that's always made me like shuckle a little bit. <laughs> but I like so you don't have um, vaulting and jumping on the same button. <laughs> Okay, so Benjamin is in there. The gunshots across the map. That's pretty good. I like that you're like instantly like trying to get used to that. Okay, moving around here. Will you grunt? Imagine if all the windows are real, yeah, so on, right? That would be interesting. Oh. Um, small tip here. Um, doesn't really matter, like, you know, it's like a small adjustment. If you, like... Like, you kind of did, like, the dark side here, you know? Like, you could have done the dark side behind the wagon, since you wanted to, like, see where the boss is, I'm assuming. Like, if it's, like, upstairs or downstairs. But you kind of, like, you know, like, you kind of peek into that window here, while in dark side. Didn't get you killed, but like, you know, I wouldn't take the risk if that makes sense. Skip the pouch. What up, Einstein? But that's like a small thing, yeah, yeah. It's not like a big mistake, just like as an advice, like, you know, don't like peek into something if you like can't shoot back. Oh, tips. Ah, you heard that. Nice. You heard the footsteps. I wouldn't crouch here. The door is barricaded there. It's kind of unfortunate. Because if you hear them, they hurt you probably as well. I would instantly get out, like, in a safer space here, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Time to run. Good. You didn't see them, so there's no point of staying still. <laughs> right. Trying to find where that person is. Would be a little bit careful here with like standing for a long period of time at the window. Um, the reason for that is pretty simple. Yeah, we're gonna like jump into paint real quick. Is that weeping? Yes. Reason for that is pretty simple. Like you're in this building here. Yeah, here. Like you're here in that building. You peek that window here and the shot came like from somewhere over here, right? Like it came somewhere out of this like, you know, area. You don't really know exactly where they are. So I would like not look out of that window for like longer periods of time because that person could be here they could be here they could be here they could be here 
And they saw you like going around here, right? So like they saw you like running away. So they're probably looking at that window as well. So they have like all those angles where they can like look at you from. Meanwhile, you know, you have to like scan this whole area. Like I said, you have to like scan everything here. So I would not like make yourself a target for such a long period of time, if that makes sense. I would just, you know, like wiggle out if you see someone, that's fine. But, you know, don't like stand in the window for too long. Because it's like very common for people to like look at that window. There are not a lot of places where he like, you know, could look or like, you know. <laughs> and if they're headsmen, good luck finding them. Yeah, <laughs> true zone, true. But yeah, I would in general like always avoid like if you don't know where a person exactly is, don't make yourself an easy target. Like first locate where an enemy is. And once you know where they are, then commit to a fight. That's like well, how I usually approach that when I don't know where someone is. I try to like bait a gunshot or like see them by like moving really quick. And once I know where they are, then I commit to the fight. Ooh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. But you have self revive, so that works. Ooh, down at Big Bear, okay. Oh, the beat is no, 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 no. But you had resilience, so it's fine. Very unfortunate, though. I think that I use a lot of these baiting shots, yeah. Yeah. True. It's super useful to get people's location to just bait the gunshot. I see a little bit of taunting here, like using the music. Oh, I like that you tried to use FMJ here. Uh, we'll talk about it in a little bit. I'm gonna like, continue watching the fight here. Hey, <laughs> music enjoyer. It's like tricky. Yeah, like one of them has long ammo. Get down a 50 bar. I'm aware someone man him. I'm pissed. Yeah, I agree though. Manning headsman is an L. Yeah, he's worse than the old Kane. Yeah. Because he doesn't even have a real face, right? Oh, it's like a very uncomfortable situation to be in. There's somebody, you don't know who, like where. You don't know who is out there. Like if that's a duo, if it's a solo. And now you're down a bar and then the boss team is like across there. You kind of like trapped in here. Very unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> but I like that you have confidence here, you know? Even though you're down about, you don't just camp in the building. There will be something I will be saying, like, once that um, first match is over. Which I already see here. But I'm just gonna let that fight play out for a little bit. Same player, what mode do I play? Um... Play quick play to get used to um, the mechanics, like the controls. And once you played like a few quick plays and you know how to like, um, you know, move around, how to like do all the basics and go into bounty hunt. And probably try randoms at first. Yeah, 100 HP fighting Mosin. It's like not something you can like really do about now, but in general when you play solos, since self revive is here. I would always, like, um, try to have a tiny bar at the end. For example, if you win a match, you know, like, you start on a hunter that has, like, a big bar at the end. You win that match, get your trade points. Just before you get out, burn your 50 bar off and then buy your bars back to tiny bars. So at least when you die once, you're not instantly, like, down to 100 HP. But it's, like, more like, you know, tiny details. It's not a big mistake. Nothing you can do about it here. Just, like, with self necro, I would, like, rather play tiny bars at the end. I like how you open the map here, just to check where they are. Of course, Saudi. Welcome in, by the way. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. I'm just doing a coaching session right now, so like, I will reply a little bit slower than usual, but... Mm. Damn. The bounty team is kinda passive, which makes me think... There must be somebody else in scan, otherwise they would just push you here down about.
thank you for the gifted sub. Shoot the Zoom combo. One sec. Okay. Now I'm gonna say something about it though. Um, little tip. First of all, Kane, thank you for the gifted sub. And Ori, enjoy the. Enjoy the uh, free tier one, enjoy the ad free content, and thank you for the follow, Saudi, Saudi Dice, Saudi Dice. I hope they didn't completely butcher that. Small piece of advice here. Um, it doesn't even matter that you have like a, that you're down a 50 bar or not. Um, but what you, I see you do a lot over the like a last minute or two. Like, you have your win field, you peek, you shoot, you didn't get a kill or anything. And then like two seconds later, you peek the same window again. Like you kind of like, have that habit of like peeking the same angle once or twice and even if not you have like a very predictable pattern if that makes sense like you like go this shoot one two then you shoot again then you run over to this window and do the same again you like shoot you shoot again it makes you like very predictable especially while you're down a bar you don't want to do that but even while you're full bars um, I would try to avoid peeking into someone reason for that is pretty simple I mean, you probably know what you just said it, that you like usually shoot from the same window like twice, even though you shouldn't do that. But the reason for that is very simple. Like, you know, somebody's out here, he's like seeing like, oh, well, where's she gonna peek from? Where's she gonna peek from? And then, oh, you saw he like just peeked that window. So he's like looking at it. So the next time you peek it, he's already like posted up on it, which makes the shot so much easier for your enemy. So I would just avoid doing that. I would like try to be a little bit less predictable. Also a piece of advice that I have here. It's like hard to show, but if you peek a window, like for example, I mean, this is like kind of awkward here. That's why I would close it in the back. But if you peek windows, um, don't peek them here in the front. Does that make sense? Like don't peek them here. Reason for that is pretty simple. Like you, s you see that from that angle already. If I peek the window this close, even though I only want to fight that window there, like that's the angle I want to peek. I'm also exposing myself to this window, to that window, and to that window. What I would do instead, you know, same peek. Just, you know, like instead of like, you know, coming over here and peeking like that. Jump down here. And peek from back here. So you kind of isolate the angle. So you just peek that. And then if some, nobody's peeking that window, you can move to the left and peek that window. So you don't fight that many angles at the same time. All right, let's continue watching. <laughs> Closing angles is important when fighting multiple people. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. I like your loadout, by the way. Like, the Lamat Slugs are very useful. It's a very strong solo weapon. Super underestimated. Because people don't expect it either. They see you, like, shoot at them with the wind fields and they push you. And then you can just, like, pull out the Lamat. And get that like nasty little surprise shotgun kill. Oh, that's a nice angle to peek. It's very smart actually to get an idea where somebody is. Just like, no, like they will not look there. Definitely not. God damn. Oh, okay. That's the guy that shot at you earlier. Ooh. I like that you like go instantly for the certainty, but you mm, you kind of expose yourself to the windows. Huh? Doesn't really matter now in the bigger picture. <laughs> um, karma. <laughs> but that was a good play. I like how you instantly go for the serpents there. Yeah? But you know, only thing I would have done there, like first take a little bit more cover, like be a little bit of a little bit more aware of your surroundings. Before you like go for the serpent. New serpent is so good as a solo, I agree zone. New serpent is insane. Oh, this is awkward. You're down a fifth like down to a fifty. Now you go for it. I'm confused at that moment from where I got killed from. Um I think it was by the White House. Magpie is also very good at here. The new solo traits overall are super nice. Okay, now we see the extracts here. 
Yeah, this is like the wise decision here. You're like down to like, the last 50 bar. There's no way you're gonna clutch this. I appreciate the speeding part, uh, speeding up part here. Now you just run for the extract. Kinda like... Risky. But it seems like you're going for the Moses extract. I would've probably not done that, I'll be honest with you. It's super risky. Because you don't know how many people are at the uh, sister estate yet. They could just come and try to like stop me from extracting. Ooh, that's a lot of orange. That's a lot of orange. God damn. Want to fight more to give you more content to achieve it because it felt like a very lackluster game. <laughs> ah, I see, I see. Okay, that makes sense. I like that you like feel confident to like just continue fighting though. You know, even though it's like not the smartest idea here, at least you're not scared of taking fights, and that's a very good mindset to have if you want to get better at the game. Like you're not scared to fight. Oh, footsteps. Okay. It's a good, it's a good uh, mindset to have, you know. Mm -hmm. Going to the extract. Yeah, exactly. Nice fighting spirit. Oh damn! You don't even go for the extract. You just want to get like a little bit more. Yeah, why not? Why not? Hmm. That's a lot of AI. God damn. God damn. Unlucky, but you tried, you know. There was not much of a like winning chance here, but like you said, you just wanted to like, you know, get in a fight. Don't worry about it. I mean it was kinda predictable that you're gonna get body tapped here, but don't worry about it. Little advice here, you know, like, doesn't really matter. Um, since you said you wanted to, like, you know, just go for the fight. If you didn't want to go for the fight here, what I would have done, just as a piece of advice, like, I know you wanted to go for the fight, so it doesn't really matter. But, you know, there was a guy here by the White House. T two guys in the Weeping Stone Mill boss lair. This banishment, I would probably just been, like, a little bit cocky. Run through here, cross the water, and just run through Pelican to extract. If you wanted to extract, that is. Simply because this team is might be occupied, they're fighting already, and the sniper guy has to get past the boss layer team, so they will probably not do that. Meanwhile, the boss layer team is like still busy because one of them is dead. So that would probably give you like the best chance to like kind of sneak an extract. All right, but let's continue watching. Um, um, okay, now game number two. Starts off with you dying. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Self rewind, let's go. Uh, yeah, it's a good game. Oh my god. Oh, you got lucky there. Holy moly. Like, <laughs> funny fight, but like, I saw that armor, like, just running you down, man. Oh, she's. He's just coming back, damn. Just bullying that person, holy moly. Oh, now you know it's a solo though. See what you do. Oh, you poison, huh? Not the worst decision. I would have maybe used my concertina trap mines here. Just place one on her. Just so you get like an audio notification. When she comes back. If she comes back. God damn. Yeah, now I, I would either place concertina on her or burn her. Just to make sure she's like gone. What up, uh, Pred B BC now? By the way, welcome in. I mean, you had your crossbow out already, you know? Like, what, what are you supposed to do? Like, you want to like crossbow her? And, you know, in the, in the heat of the moment, you just punched her with the hand crossbow. But yeah, usually you could have used your bayonet or your, like, your knuckle knife, but that's like nothing very important here, in my opinion. So it's kind of like, you know, like something that happened in the heat of the moment. <laughs> and, you know, everyone panics sometimes. 
Okay. Banishment is about to end. Let's see. Other bounty is already banished as well, but nobody picked it up. <laughs> they panicked so much. Yeah. We see, we see. Nice 360 scan. Nobody in scan range. I would have burned here, by the way. Just because before you leave. Or like place Concertina on her. Just out of spite. Horn skin scan? Okay. <laughs> what up, imperfection? I truly could have secured the headers. It doesn't really matter in the bigger picture, but that's what I would have done here. Okay, you go for the second bounty here. I would have probably done the same, honestly. Yeah, the Powers and Cloud leaves after some minutes, exactly. I just like placing, like, since we brought Concertina trip mines, I just like bringing them, simply due to the fact that even if they don't die to them, they're, like, bleeding, they take damage, and you get an audio cue, and they instantly have to, like, they cannot fight back, if that makes sense. Oh, somebody's shaving you. Somebody shot at you with, like, a centennial. Oh, somebody picked up the other bounty. Okay. Very interesting. Ooh, little sound bug. Oh, th that guy actually... The guy that he killed in the... Um, in fishery actually re revived themselves. Goddamn. That guy is probably leaving now. That guy died. Three times. They're leaving. Oh, you're getting chased. I like how you instantly like break line of sight here. Like you use the vegetation and you no know, instantly like try to lose line of sight to the guy shooting at you. It's like I'm gonna like preload here something real quick. I'm just gonna go in the game. One second. <laughs> Okay. I might say about what you just did say like a little bit later, depending how this continues. Second. It's gonna preload this compound here. Mm. There's one guy in compound. I'm getting shot here. I would do 360 scans. Um, how do I do that? I have no idea. Don't I don't really play that mode. I would definitely do a 360 scan here. Just so you know like where the person behind you is that is chasing you. Yeah, I get that, Ori. I get that. I looks like you know, that's a piece of advice. Mm. Yeah. I feel like I'm seeing a habit here. But it's okay. I will say about it like a little bit later. But I feel like you're you're using like you're using too much scan here. Yeah. Probably wouldn't have used serpent there, yeah. Kinda use like waste the scan, yeah. Oh, the nades. Mm, that sounds like a frag grenade. Oh, he actually survived that. Holy moly. Oh, just run. Run, 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 run. No. Oh, he actually survived that one as well. Here, what he should definitely should have done. Just run. When, he, when they started cooking, the second nade just runs through the fire. You're not going to lose a full bar. Like, you know, right here. And you bleed. And you hear the second nade. Now just run through the fire. You can just run through it. And um, you're not gonna lose the full bar. You're gonna like burn like 10 HP or something. Yeah, exactly. What you survived? Oh. 
Madua, good evening. Hope you have a lovely Tuesday. So there are at least two out there, like the original bounty carry and the guy that was chasing you. Now we got the bounty. So two. Again, like, do a 360 scan if you have, like, the time for it. Just so you, like, you know, you can, like, fully grasp the situation. Again, the music. Little thing you like, you know. It's not like, you know, do it for the memes if you like. But, like, in those kind of fights, like, you're kind of robbing yourself um, the opportunity to hear stuff when you, like, play, like, music like that. You know, do it for the memes if you like, you know, have it for the love. But, you know, like, all you and hunt is very important. So I wouldn't, like, necessarily play music in that situation. So you can, like, actually hear if somebody's pushing you. Oh. The bear trap. Yeah, like I said, if you like want to do it for the memes, no worries, but you know, not gonna, like, I had to say something. <laughs> okay, one guy towards the world border, one guy at the end of the houses. Okay. And the other guy is like somewhere up north, probably extracting. <laughs> Empty, you fucking troll, man. Okay. I like how you're like jumping here, trying to make yourself a harder target. I don't even know if that would warming, but I like that you go for it. Why not? Mm, but yeah, you definitely use a lot of scenario, I have to say. Um. Okay, long, long use your dark side. Like... On, uh, again. Um, you use like a lot of skin, uh, scan here, not skin, sorry. Um, what I would do, like, as a general piece of advice, um, when you have scan, now we have 10 seconds as a solo, but it still applies. Um, use your scan with a purpose. Don't just, like, we're in the layer, you had 10 seconds since you just picked up the bounty. Like, you picked up scan here. Like, here, grabbed it, did a 360. And you basically used like seven seconds of your scan. <laughs> what up, Blitz? Um, and you didn't do anything with it. Um, when, I shouldn't say M that much. When you scan, do it with a purpose and make something happen. Like, use it as a tool. Like, you now know what somebody is. What you should have done here, like, either don't scan every two seconds because it doesn't change anything. Like, you do your 360, you go up here, and then you do another scan when you're up here. Like, they can't move that quick to, like, a different location. You kind of know where they are anyways. And they're not even, like, threatening you right now. They were, like, 100 meters, 80 meters out. Um, the only thing that you should do here, could do here, is... Like, if you scan and you see them over there, like, do it with a purpose. Like I said, like, if you scan them... You see one guy world border, one guy here behind the stores. Either you start like using that information and try to pick a 1v1 here. Let's move over here, like so like you actually use your information you have just gathered. And like try to make something happen with that information. Um or just don't scan and wait for something to happen. Um, but definitely don't scan that often. You know, like kinda like scan with like a purpose. Don't just use the scan for the sake of scanning, if that makes sense. Like, you don't have to, like, take the 1v1 there. I would probably have done that, personally, or, like, take one of the 1v1s. Since that guy was pretty, like, far away, and that guy was kind of far away. You know, just try to, like, plan ahead, if that makes sense. Don't just, like... You're kind of wasting, like, you, your resources here, if that makes sense. Like, if you just use scan here, and you see the 360, they're split up. And then... You use scan again here, then you run over here, use like another scan, um, destroy the window here, jump out, scan again. You just wasted like three seconds of scan and you didn't make anything happen if that makes sense. And scan is a super useful resource to have. Because they can, after your scan is gone, they can still track you on the map, right? Oh, it doesn't work like that. But yeah, they can still track you on the map, um, but you can't. 
But yeah, let's continue watching. But yeah, in general, just like use scan to like profit from it and don't just waste uh, that resource. Meg, what up? Thank you for the four months and welcome, Prots. Well, how are you doing? I like how you keep track like of the other bounty by opening a map. Yeah, it's like something you just have to like pay attention to. It's more like a, a habit that's like very easy to unlearn. Yeah, I'm dancing to the piano. <laughs> I mean, why not? There's not much you can do here. Two guys outside. The grunt's a little bit distracted. Hope you're destroying after. We're not doing coaching right now. Servers are offline. So the coaching for 8 p.m. got moved a little bit closer. Oh, that guy is close now. Okay, he pushed. That was not a bad scan, by the way. You already know that there are two out there, and you saw two, so. Paid actors, too lit. The crack video is full of paid actors. Mm. Yeah. Like, now you're out of scan, right? <laughs> the melee charge. I mean, why not? Appreciate it. Thank you for the five months, Phoenix. Still deserved. I don't really know why you're like poisoning yourself off here. Like you don't have an antidote running, and you kind of you kind of have to take the one v one here. Because there's a guy outside, and if you get bullied out of your lair now, you're gonna get sandwiched. Yeah, like you decide to run here. Mm. You kinda have to take the one we want here. I will explain to you why. Are you like kinda like in that building here? I will explain to you why you have to take that one we want. Um, we go here. Right. Um, let's close that. Open that. Like. When you're in the boss layer, like you have like you're currently in the layer. There was a guy out here like pushing you, and then there's a guy somewhere out here, right? Oh, let's take different colors to make it like a little bit more visible. You are here in the boss layer, um, kind of here. It's a guy pushing you. He's like outside the first time you spot him, he's like outside the saloon, and then there's like a third guy somewhere out here in the mounds. Um, you have to take that one v one here with that person because. This way you can like protect your your ground, you have like your boss layer, if that makes sense. I mean he was kinda at the entrance, but still you have to you have to fight that guy here, you have to take this fight. Because if this guy is obviously trying to chase you, if you now start running away, we probably we will probably see that exact thing happening. And if you now start running, especially like you ran to that building, this person here is gonna continue chasing you. And now because you're closest to the blue dot. This guy is also gonna start fighting you. So you basically put yourself in a sandwich. Basically you start running away. And you have to fight in a very shitty position here, like in that little barn. Like it's a very shitty position to be in because you don't have a lot of like room to rotate or wiggle around. There's not much you can do from there. Thank you for the follow, Nitram. I appreciate it. But if you like take that 1v1 here, First of all, you have an isolated 1v1. That guy didn't show any motivation to push anything. He didn't want to do anything. But if you win that 1v1 here, you still have your boss layer to fight from. Then you can play, you know, you can play 1v1 here, if that makes sense. What up, Quinn? Like, you have to, like, just play your 1v1 here in that zone. And once you have one, the 1v1 against that guy, you probably have to, like, Constantina and burn him. Then you can, like, start fighting the outside player. Especially since you're out of scan right now. Just like, you know, sometimes you just have to stay your ground and fight. If you start running and, you know, you're just gonna end up in a shittier position than you were in before and makes the fight even more disadvantageous for yourself. Um, alright, let's continue watching. What is that? One second. Don't save. Good morning, Rose. It's like definitely in a suboptimal uh, position we are in right now. 
simply because you're like boxed here and you don't have any scan anymore. At least in the position you were in before, you knew, you completely knew where the guy was that you could fight there. Like you had a, a clear 1v1. And that's kind of what you're looking for as a solo anyways, you always want to look for 1v1s. I have no idea Nitrum. That's why I'm doing the coaching currently. No ETA, we have no idea. Okay, there's guys shooting you from across the railroad tracks, kinda. Okay, so one guy in the boss layer, one guy towards the railroad tracks. Like, sadly, no ETA, Nitrum, yeah. Oh, you see him there? Okay. Not a bad angle. It's like, I'm gonna close my window, there are like some idiots outside. Ah, okay. 20 minutes. That would be perfect. But yeah, you definitely... What you have to do here, you have to f take a 1v1. Um, it feels like... Um, overall, like, I watched... Like, I will say some, something at the end. But you just have to pick a fight here. Like, you will have to fight Ori. Like, you will have to fight eventually. You just have to pick a fight here. Like, the longer you delay the initial 1v1, the more likely is it that they're gonna push you. And you're gonna, like, get, end up getting sandwiched. You just have to, like, pick a fight here, if that makes sense. Okay, that's, like, this guy now. All the way in the We got a Weedon shot running, so that's fine. Oh, that guy's close now. Yeah, exactly what I predicted is gonna happen now. You have a guy directly outside your door, and Centennial is taking shots at you. <sighs> nice shot. That was a body tap. God damn. You were, like, 109 HP, and you got... That's unfortunate. You need a necro here? Why not? Oh, you got the body tap? See? And you only instantly picks the 1v1. I like that. That was a good solid play. That was a solid play. Like, he got the tag and instantly starts the aggression. Oh. Mm. What I would do here, you have a concertina bomb, and that guy is 100% a solo player because they fought each other. Now with Necromancer, just use your consumable here. Use uh, use the Concertina Bomb and just Concertina Bomb her ass. That was 100% a solo player. Servers are still down, baby. Yeah. Just as a piece of advice. Poison can be enough. Depending if they have an antidote or if they have resilience, it might not kill them. Ooh, that was a very close, almost a headshot. Oh, she just revived behind you. Ooh, this is stressful. This is very stressful, holy moly. By the melee. Oh. oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, dual reading. Hard counter against melee. Oh. I'm gonna jump into the game here real quick. Ah, uh, one sec. I'm gonna run over there. Where am I? Here. <laughs> I like that you're not scared to fight so, but. Okay, that melee wasn't smart. Yeah, you were too far away, exactly. You should have tried to shoot. Um, I wouldn't have even done that. Like, you pushed here, and you got the body, the body tap, instantly started pushing, which was a very good move. You didn't hesitate. You just instantly continued pushing, because you knew, like, worst case, I'd trade here. You know, saved the kill, got her down. Um, you were probably, like, a little bit stressed out in that situation, didn't think about your consumable, but, like, uh, definitely Concertina bomb her ass here, because that's is solo, 100%. Or use your concertina trip mines. Um, then when you were in that spot, you heard her revive behind you. You just heard the, the healing sound. She revived, and then there was a guy in front of you. What you probably should have done here, instead of like chasing him down, like he was running that way, you could heal it. Um, instead of like chasing him down, you're like down a 50 but he's probably gonna want to have you, depending on what you have. And there's not much hard cover here. Like he's probably full HP because you didn't hear him die. You didn't kill him yet. Um, so it's very likely that that guy is full HP while you're down to 50. I would probably disengage out of that fight. Because that person is behind you, probably healing right now. And they're definitely gonna push. And that person is over here trying to just run away. I would probably just... Like, you kinda neglect hard cover. Like you're down about, you need hard cover to fight. And by being up here, you make yourself an easy target, if that makes sense. Like if he peeks you, he has like your whole area to shoot. 
and you can't really do anything about it. Like, you don't have any cover. So what I would have done here, just go down here and just shoot from here. What you do with that, you have a 1v1 here against that person with your windfield. You know, obviously don't go for the melee. But at the same time, this guy over here, that like Reaver is probably healing right now, has to come all the way here to see you. Like you will hear them running up and can react to it. Like if you hear them pushing, you can either like, you know, after you get a attack here, either you get the kill here and force the kill, you know, you tag him, you have good aim, I saw that. You're not scared. Like, you know, you do, like, tag him. Maybe you get the kill here, and if not, he has the heal, it's gonna continue running. And if you hear them pushing behind you, just, you know, run over here, next hard cover. Try to pull yourself out of it, and try to pull yourself out of the sandwich. And suddenly you have like a person over here. You are here, and the guy is in the middle. But at least you can like, you know, control the engagement. Can, like have the 1v1 like that's what you're looking for right you never want to fight two angles at the same time like try to like control the fight a little bit make them play your game don't make like don't react to what they want to do kind of try to like um make them play your game and don't just react to what they are doing all right let's continue watching I mean, she doesn't have bad aim, you saw that, like, most of the shots she goes for, ooh, okay, got the melee kill, I respect it, there was nothing else he could have done there, honestly, oh, your poison, that is super awkward, oh, I like how you use the concertina here, so, I would have used it earlier, like I said, but it's a smart move to use the concertina to just, like, make, like, deny them from chasing you. But yeah, she does have good aim, you know, like a lot of things she can work on, but like aim is not the, the biggest issue here. So it seems like the biggest issue is like decision making. But I will go through it at the end. It's not like insane already, but like it's not like the most of the shots, like what I'm gonna say already, most of the shots you went for were either very close misses or you hit some. Like you, we are playing like 3 star Edo here, like I'm not expected to run around and headshot everyone. But most of the shots you went for were like either very close misses or you hit a shot. Like it's not like you like, you know. Like I've seen people who play worse in higher elo, but just like aim wise. Let me just say that. Yeah, she does body shot a lot, but you know. Like, I've seen 5-star players that have just the same aim. That's all I'm gonna say. I like how you cut your losses here, though, and just decide to leave. Yeah, from there, good with hand crossbow. Yeah, I think it's a good loanout. <laughs> Memory of Clifford Pomfret. Alright. <laughs> What up, Noko? Has anyone sent a meme nightmare clip of just caught in the corner with a shotgun for six minutes yet? <laughs> that seems coachable, yes. That seems very coachable. You should do that, Noko. I coach any, like, I give advice on anything. Even if you guys send me, like, world border, border KD farming. Like, I don't care. This is about, like, improving. Oh, can't forget the music. Cool, dear. What up, by the way? Happy Tuesday. I don't really know why you're waiting here. Like, I don't... what are you waiting for? Okay, you continue moving. I don't know what. Ah, the explosion. Okay, that makes sense. Sorry. Oh, the emulator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. I would just run here. Like. Okay, I've seen that one before. We've all done that. I believe. Ah, uh, I've done that myself. It just happens, you're like in autopilot mode and just stabs the, the, the grunt. Uh, I have wiped my team, my whole team with that before. And it just, just happens, you're just in autopilot and just wanna kill the grunt. <laughs> mm. I have done the same thing. 
It's actually one of my most viewed clips where I like fight my whole team by killing a grunt next to the red bear. Yup. It just happens. Torch guns? Yeah. And they always stand next to barrels as well, right? Like every time I see like a red bell, I'm just like, okay, where's the torch guns? This is good content, I agree. Very good content actually. But yeah, huge respect. Actually, I really appreciate like you showing, you know, showing like a, a you know, normal game, not like a highlight or something like that. Unless we're like going for extract here, yeah. Alright, I'm okay. cheating, yes, yes. What up, Priest Torpedo? Let's go back in game. Alright. Um, actually, let's go into paint first. What I would do here, alright, um, first of all, what I've wrote down, like I skipped through it a little bit earlier, um, I would try to make a game plan. Um, but what does that mean? Kind of like plan ahead. I saw it in both compounds. I'm gonna open the other one as well, real quick. One second. Oh, 3D paint. Um, go here. Like it was earlier the same. I feel like you react a lot. I think that's something you could like definitely do. Um, kind of plan ahead what you want to do. Like I saw that earlier. Like it seems like you react a lot to what your enemies are doing. No, it's just like, I don't know, just like 3D paint better. Um, you, you react a lot just to what your enemies are doing instead of like forcing your game on the enemy. Like earlier you arrived at Weeping in the first game. We're like in here and then you just like, you know, you wander around a little bit. Wander, wander, go to the bridge here. Like I said, here's a gunshot from over there. Then you get scared. Run in here. And then you basically the whole fight. You kind of get, you kind of put yourself in that bad spot here. Does that make sense? You just put yourself in the building. Just because that guy shot at you. But I would have done completely different here. Like, and you, like, this guy's out here. You're in that spot. Bossler team is just in here. Like, it doesn't really matter. They're, like, you don't have to worry about them. I would, you know, after that, maybe just run around here. But I would definitely try to, like, make that fight happen here. Like, try to take the outside team out first. The reason for that is, no matter what you do, like you don't know if that is so, if that is a solo. I think we saw on the after lobby screen that it was a solo. Um, but no matter what you do, you can not attack the boss layer. Like you cannot attack this layer, no matter what you have, until this guy is dead. Like until you have dealt with that guy, there's no way you can fight the boss layer. If that makes sense. So, just just as a piece of advice. Like when you siege boss layers, always deal with the outside teams first, if it's possible. Or at least try to deal with them. Like it doesn't mean you have to go out here and kill them. But at least like, you know, try to investigate what's going on. And kind of like plan ahead, if that makes sense, you know? Have like a, a plan in the back of your head. And don't just, like it, it felt like you were like scared here, which is normal. You're like a new player, you know? Hunt is intense. I'm not judging you at all, it's just normal. But as a, as a piece of advice, if you go into a match, just have like a game plan before you approach the layer. Like if you're here and you like you hear somebody doing the boss inside, like you hear somebody's doing butcher, just be like, okay, what do I want to do here? Do I want to instantly push the layer? Does that make sense? Like if you do, a, I don't know. Do you have maybe a shotgun? Or whatever you want to do. Do I do I really want to um, push the layer here? Then maybe you know use um the new basement entrance for example, or like just push that side and make a you know, fight happen, just get close if you feel comfortable doing that. You had a windfield, so I wouldn't. So I would have probably rotated somewhat in the same way as well. But just have a game plan ready. So even like, okay, I want to take a fight here, so... But what's the purpose of rotating here? I want to rotate around and I would probably take the White House here. That would have been my game plan in the first place. You know? I have arrived. Okay, thank you for the follow, G-Man. I appreciate it. Playing sounds like a great idea. Planning, yeah, like, but that's what I would have done here, just as a piece of advice. I would have, like, rotated around with a purpose in mind. I want to go on top of the White House and play my Winfield from there. Then, this guy would have shot at me and kind of interrupted my plan. But since I know I cannot siege the layer team, like, I cannot fight this team until I have dealt with the outside person, I would have then abandoned my initial plan here 
would have stopped doing that and like pushed or like made a fight happen against that person. Either I scare him off, you know, either I scare that person off and he like backs off, he just runs off, or you know, I can win my 1v1, 1v2 here, whatever, but like figure out what's going on. Because like I said, you cannot fight the boss layer until you have dealt with the outside team. And you should definitely catch a burst, you know. But you will get there. You just have to play a little bit more of like, you know. I have like a video on my YouTube channel as well about solo anxiety. I'm describing that exactly. It doesn't even matter what plan you have. You could also like, you know. People are gonna like be like, oh wow, God, what, what kind of plan is that? Like, you could just be like... You're new to the game, just have the game plan ready. You arrive at the layer and be like, okay, step one. You know? Step one. Um, sieging here, yeah, siege. Siege layer. Then, if you get third party, already have like, you know, even though, doesn't matter, you know, how, cow how much of a coward you're gonna look, just have a plan ready. You know, the alternative plan, plan two is run. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. You're gonna get there, you're gonna become a giga shed eventually, but like, you know, just like, have a plan ready, be like, okay, I got shot here. Just be like, okay, my plan two is always like, I'm just gonna run. I'm just running away. And then you, you know, when you, once you like made it out here, you like mentally reset and plan again. You know, maybe it's not like the most honorable strategy, but it's a plan, doesn't matter. You just run away, just be like, fuck it, I'm running. I don't want to get third partied, fuck it. And then you just, you know, just rotate around, come this way, I don't know, go all the way around here, whatever you want to do, you know? You have like all the options, but just give yourself um, the opportunity to like mentally reset, calm down a little bit, and then approach the fight with a little bit of logic and a new plan, you know? Because like this right here was an unexpected equation, if that makes sense. You didn't calculate for that person to be there. So just give yourself the opportunity to like react to it. That's like the first game. Now we're gonna jump into the second game. Where is it? Second game. Um, it's also kinda like the same thing here. You came from Testimonial. You like ran this way. Do, 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 do. Got like shot. Ran over here, crossed the water, made it here. And there was a guy chasing you from over here somewhere. I don't know exactly where they were. That makes sense. Yeah. Guy over here in Testimonial. Then there was a guy by the boss layer. And you were like kinda here. You saw the scan. First of all, do always do a 360 scan. Like always. Always do 360 scans. So you know like, exactly where everybody is. We'll talk about it in a second. It felt like you were just like pushing in here and you were like over here. And then even though you knew where everybody was, you didn't really it felt like you didn't really know what you wanted to do here. Oh come on. Um, you didn't really know what to do here, like you just kind of ran in here, but like I'm just gonna grab the bounty. Like I said, uh, as a solo player, like I play a lot of solos. Once you like arrive at the boss land, you know somebody is there, like number one priority, always like go for a 1v1. If you have the opportunity for a 1v1, there's never a reason to shy away from it as long as like you are in a position from where it makes sense. You have a win field, inside compound fight, instead of like, like this guy was like running this way I think. And you were like just avoiding him. Meanwhile, that guy is like continue chasing you. What I would have done here instead, while that guy is running, you have like still five, I think you had four or five seconds of scan left. Just instantly try to like fight him here. Just all like rush the layer. Just make the decision here. You know, either you'll be like, okay, I'm gonna instantly fight that guy, try to kill him, and make that fight happen. And if it doesn't work initially, just back off. Or just be like, I'm just gonna instantly go for the boss, if that makes sense. Like, instantly push the layer. Just like, try to like, make something happen before you get sandwiched. Just, you know, like, just, like I said, arrive at the layer, like, no matter where you go, always have like, a, a plan in mind that you wanna execute. Doesn't really matter what the plan is, you don't have to go for the 1v1, you don't have to do that. But just, try to have a plan in mind, when you like, go somewhere as a solo player. Just to have like something to rely on, so you just don't become that scared so easily. Just get paralyzed and don't know what to do, so I stay in one place. Yeah, that's a very common thing. That's a very common thing already. You're loading in zone, that's good. Like after this coaching session is done, we're gonna jump into more solos. Then, something you've done, like like I said, we talked about it earlier, and it's gonna recap here a little bit. Then, eventually you pushed in here. 
into the lair. Then you had the guy over here, like the bounty carry, and then the centennial that chased you from over here seemingly rotated around here and went over here, right? So we had like a centennial somewhere here in the mountains somewhere. It, said, it felt like you were like super stressed out, which is normal, you know? I don't blame you for that. Like this hunt is stressful, especially when you first start getting into solos. You should have just like, you know, stand your ground here. Like just make this like your fortress. Just mean like, this is my boss layer. Just defend it with everything you got. And if anyone gets close, just 1v1 them. It's like a general advice I give to anyone. Even if you play solos, and uh, if you play duos or trios. If you have a chance to like take a fight in a position that is like kinda advantageous for you or like at least you have like a boss layer to fight from it's always better to take to take the fight in this layer let's just you know pretend that you know this is like your layer here it's always better and let's just say you, you would have made the run like you ran over here and then suddenly you can like run away like you just maybe that was let's just pretend that was your game plan um, at least when you're in the layer you have hard cover you would have never made it away here. Like you would have never been allowed to leave without having a fight here. Because they were so close, there was no point of trying to run. Like, if you run here, like you got pinned in that building, but even let's just say they didn't pin you in that building, you would have continued running. They would have probably caught you out somewhere here out in the open. Which would have been like just a very shitty spot to be in, if that makes sense. Like, this area has like no hard cover or anything. Like nothing you can do, you can't really hide. Like even if you play duos or trios, you know, in a team, it's always better to just stay your ground and just play the area you, where you are and just, you know, have a normal fight instead of running and getting shot in the back or, like, getting shot in a position where you don't want to fight. Like, always pick a position where you want to fight, if that makes sense, you know? Always pick a spot where you're like, okay, this is not too bad, I can fight here and just take the fight. As long as people are, like, that close that you cannot run. You know, if those people were like out here, like, you know, 200 meters away, just send it, fuck it. But those guys were like both within like 50 to 100 meters, there's no way you can like run away here without getting a fight. Um, what else? Let me just look through my notes real quick. Pick a spot. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, I pointed it out earlier. Definitely um, use your scan with purpose. We talked about it earlier. We're like inside the layer here. Uh, and then, you're, like, you know, he went in here. Right, let me go for that. Like, don't waste the scan. It's like one of the most useful resources as a solo player. Because it gives you like so much information. You don't have a teammate to like give you info. So, like I said, you came in here, picked up the scan, and within like, I don't know, a minute, you were almost out of scan. Not even a minute, I think. Like, maybe, like, you know, we were almost out of scan. We used so much scan here, like 360, run up here, scan again. You know, I'm exaggerating here, you can scan again, jump out, scan again. Went in here, scan again. You know, I'm exaggerating, that's not exactly how it went down, but just to, like, you know, make a point here. Like, first scan was perfect to get information. Scan number two, three, four, and five. Basically, didn't do anything like you got information but you didn't do anything with the information and it's not like within that that short um, period of time they could go anywhere else if that makes sense like when you see them in the 360 scan over here there is not much room they can go like they cannot rotate that much and the information you get from scanning up here again didn't really help you because you didn't really plan on doing something but now we're going back to the, you know, idea to like um, set yourself up a plan that you want to go for and then just stick with it. You know, like I said, my usual plan, you know, is I want to get 1v1s. So like I said, once I got the 360 and I saw them both isolated, not fighting each other, I would have either picked that 1v1 or that 1v1 and just used my scan to make sure that I don't get, um, don't get sandwiched. I would have been like out here, scanned, oh, I see, oh, that guy's over there, this guy's over here. Would have just... Tried running over. Go here, do another scan. You know, I still I'm scanning a lot, but like I'm using the information to make something happen. I see him? Oh, he's still back here. Okay. Now I'm gonna rotate over here. The other guy is still towards world border. Just run, 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 run. Keep like hard cover here, just in case I get into a fight. Maybe do another scan here. 
the oh the guy's still over there now I'm gonna push him push 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 and suddenly it's just say like you know he didn't attack me yet ideally you now have a 1v1 here you end up fighting this guy is gonna get third party like this guy is gonna third party but now you're not gonna be in the middle now whoever you're fighting over here like the person that was over here in the centennial is gonna be the one in the bad position if that makes sense he's gonna be the one being sandwiched like you have your 1v1 here if you get tagged you can fall back heal go in the building heal whatever maybe even run away when they end up fighting who cares but just scan with purpose if that makes sense like you know just like try to like plan your plan ahead a little bit you don't have to like plan your full match but try to have a plan to execute mm. But yeah, let me see. Did I forget anything? Oh, little piece of advice. What up, Blue Little piece of advice. You're gonna go back into weeping. Um, it doesn't really matter in the bigger picture, but when you're down bars, um, where's weeping? There. Yeah, try to think outside the box. Make people like play your game. Don't make them like don't react to their game. Basically, that's what having a plan does, Aurea. Like, always have a plan that you can play on, so that also is gonna calm you down a lot already. Like, mentally. If you have, like, something that you can, like, okay, shit, like I said earlier, if you, like, rotate around, get third part in your, your plan is just like, oh, I'm just gonna run. At least you're not gonna, like, panic as much because you know what you wanna do now, if that makes sense. Like, having a plan helps a lot with, like, just staying a little bit more calm. One thing I would do though, since you were down a 50 bar, just like, you know, a little bit more advanced. Once you're down a bar and you're fighting long ammo, try to fake angles where you like, you don't expose like your full body if that makes sense. For example, like, this is not the best compound, but like, try to like take angles where if they see you, they cannot, they can only basically headshot you. Does that make sense? But that's like, High evil shit doesn't really matter. Don't worry about it, honestly. Um, but yeah. That's basically it. Let me see. Oh. Uh, what happened here? Hello? Um, we just got kicked out, okay. Appreciate it, alright. I hope, like, you know, again, I'm gonna sum it up real quick. Um, Work on your scan use. Always do 360 scans. Oh, damn. Answer was dead. Okay. Always do a 360 scan. <laughs> and um, have a plan when you go into a compound. Like, just have a plan ready. First of all, what does having a plan do? It calms you down because you know what to do when things go wrong. You have something to fall back on. And yeah. I think those are like the, the biggest things you can do because you're not scared like I see that like obviously you panic a lot game is new but it's not like you're like super scared of taking fights it seems like you were all actively looking for fights which is an amazing mindset that's something you did really well like you're not scared to take fights uh, I had one game and boom yeah <laughs> um, yeah those are the big things that would work on for you when you, if you want to continue playing solos Work on your scan usage, plan your fights, and yeah, that will help you a lot, I think. And yeah, like continue just taking fights. But yeah, always like plan ahead.